Hello and welcome to another Looney Tunes review video. If you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to follow my journey to review all 1000 Looney Tunes shorts and give this video a like as well. So this is a review for The Daffy Dock, released in 1938. It's the 222nd in the series and it's directed by Bob Clampett. You can currently find this on the Looney Tunes Gone Collection Volume 5 DVD set. It's also on the Porky Pig 101 DVD set and it's currently on HBO Max in high definition. So in case you haven't seen this cartoon before, and I can't show you the full cartoon here due to YouTube copyright, but essentially Daffy is a doctor's assistant and we see him do a few crazy things. He ends up deciding to bonk Porky Pig on the head and he tries to operate on him. So yeah, not really much of a story when you think about it. So first up, you're going to hear a re-edit of the original audio commentary I did before I had to take it down due to a request by Warner Brothers Legal. Thanks to my good friend Blue Genocide for helping me with that. Then after that, you'll hear some new thoughts from me, and then you'll hear a sample from the Bob Clampett retrospective. So grab some popcorn and enjoy. So, um, this is an absolute classic. There's, there's no <laughs> denying it. I mean, if you love your uh, Porky and Daffy team-ups, this card is definitely for you. I mean, especially that look at that animation of, <laughs> of the ambulance there. It's <laughs> absolutely crazy. But um, yeah, this one is. Uh, uh, it, it surprises me to, to learn that uh, this this cartoon was actually not like Bob Bob Clampett himself. And I will definitely go through all of that um, as we go along this uh, cartoon. But I love that Doctor Quack, assisted by Doctor Daffy Duck, also a quack. <laughs> I love the, the beak, the way that's just drawn by Daffy, like the way it's um, on Daffy there. And the fact that um, he's doing like a Popeye-esque sort of thing where the dialogue would be coming out but the beak wouldn't move. It's just so, so, so bizarre. But... Shut your mouth. Zoltan Shah. Silence is true. <laughs> Now, we're going to see here an iron lung, which essentially was used um, when um, in, 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 when people would contract uh, polio, which there was a big epidemic not too long after this was released. And so essentially, um, both Chuck Jones and Bob Clampett hated this cartoon. Um, well, because it, it, because it was definitely um, insensitive. It, um, but I don't think he did that with the intention of being insensitive. I think it was just one of those um, unfortunate... Uh, situations, but but he also didn't like the fact that with the iron lung, if you listen to it carefully, it, it sounds like your typical realistic sound effect as you might expect from such a machine. Whereas he wrote um, in the storyboards, he wanted like the Spike Jones type sound effects, like to maybe make some crazy wild effects that uh, Trek Brown would be known for, but that didn't actually occur. To to go even further, um, the Bob Clampett um, also. Didn't, didn't like it because he, he basically um, he, he would just want to rush this one through production just so he could spend more time with um, working on The Lone Stranger and Porky and he was studying the live action serial at the time and we'll obviously go through that cartoon and reach up to it which is um, not too far off which is good this anim animation and um, I noticed this even before Mark Hauser pointed it out but look at the ground it just looks so weird I, I, I get what they were trying to do maybe put some depth into it but Definitely doesn't work, but when it, when you have a car doing this funny though, you know what? You forgive such things. You definitely do. But I, but I like here, yeah, with the, with the consultation as I mentioned earlier, just how he knocks himself out and just display now all this extra animation of the three talking to each other. Where you got Mel Blake, of course, doing Daffy Duck, but according to Mark Cowsley, he one of them is also Robert C. Bruce. So yeah, that's I didn't know that. And I was I was going, oh okay, you know, I thought it'd be something of interest but this just gets me just randomly what is he just gonna what's he gonna do with the sword just he's just gonna <laughs> randomly saw someone it just gets me every time absolutely ridiculous so those are my original thoughts and here are some new ones i like how in this part here he says you know he has a sheepskin which is a literal sheepskin <laughs> instead of a college degree and of course i have a license and he shows a license plate yeah so funny and of course, we continue the trend with Porky being relegated to a side character. In fact, it doesn't even appear until the last third of this short, although Clampett does make good use of him here. I did notice as well, if you look at the title card, it says the Daffy Dock featuring Porky. 
So I guess they wanted to really make sure that people knew that this was a Porky cartoon. Later on, Clamper would actually revisit the idea of this cartoon in Patient Porky, where instead of Daffy, there's like a crazy cat. And the scene that you're seeing here with the saw would actually be redone in that cartoon. As is what's happened already with a few Bob Clampy cartoons, you'll see the sign saying silence is foo, so F-O-O, -O, foo. And that is a reference to a comic character named Smokey Stover, created by Bill Holman. Probably my favourite animated moment in this short is pretty much this, and of course at the very end when Porky's involved as well, where the Iron Lung wreaks havoc on his body. I mean, look at that. Yeah, okay, it's just basic squash and stretch and all that, but it's still pretty impressive and pretty darn amusing to watch. And of course, gotta love the football scene, which pretty much tells us that this doctor is basically the namesake of the title. Daffy meaning crazy and Doc meaning doctor, so yeah, the crazy doctor. In any case, here is a sample from the Bob Clampett Retrospective Part 1 on this cartoon. I'm not sure... Hopefully I, I got the, the, this right. I think this is Mark Kalser's favorite cartoon of all time, albeit one of his, his favorites. And, and I can definitely see why. Uh, I, I think Clampett later went on, on record to say that he hated this cartoon, and I can also see, see why, especially with the aforementioned Iron Lung gag. I'm pretty sure the story was told Tre Trek Brown doing an Iron Lung sound effect, and, and he wanted it to be more cartoonish, but I guess maybe because of the, he was rushing this just to, to get it done. Uh, Trego was just like, oh, uh, Iron Lung, uh, well, make a, a realistic Iron Lung sound, and yeah, it does make the gag kind of uncomfortable, especially for, for the time. But beyond that, the cartoon it, itself, in addition to Daffy's wacky personality just kind of getting the, the better of him, it also kind of like affects others around him, like especially his colleague who, who just kicks him out. It's like, that crazy duck does not understand the seriousness, e even though he's just a, a, as wacky. But it kind of shows how you got a screwball and everyone else around him is reacting in different ways, whether it be a colleague or a patient, just like, no, I, I'm okay, you're, you're just crazy or something. But and, and also, like, I'm sure Bob Cannon hated this animation, like all his Warner Brothers animation, but that stuff he, he did of, of Daffy and Porky just, like, inflating and going up and down, absolutely brilliant. I, th I think, <laughs> uh... I think I heard, I heard on a commentary that uh, Clampett was working on The Lone Stranger and Porky and he devoted all his time to uh, to that short and he kind of rushed through with the Daffy Duck, despite that one being a lot better. But So what to rate this short? Look, this one gets a solid 8 out of 10 for me. It's very funny and it's just non-stop gag after gag after gag. The only thing that's keeping it down for me is the iron lung gag because, yeah, I can see how during a pandemic... You know, things like that can be insensitive, but no matter, at least we get a funny cartoon. Otherwise, I will say if the Iron Lung had better sound effects, might have been even funnier. But in any case, it is what it is. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, take care. Thank you.